Good morning. Hi, everyone. Jumbo Dep Su. You are watching Cooking Cambodian Food with Elisa. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Cambodian dessert. This dessert is very, very common in Cambodia and it's very delicious. It's one of my favorite desserts. And I happen to learn how to do this from YouTube, from Mr. Soka. Um, video so but I'm gonna do it a little bit twist since again, you know, we're in the United States and It's the fall season and I thought this is a great idea to um, combine it with uh, pumpkin. So we call this dessert is and um, Basically, we're gonna use um, pumpkin and um, They call it cassava root so, some of the ingredients you will need will be, this is a small pumpkin, I happen to weigh it, it's three pounds. And then you will need cassava root, I call it the low meat. And then you will need some drain. Um, this is, I got this frozen drain from uh, the Asian market, the seedless kind. And if you've never had the rain, it's had a very strong smell. Either you like it or you don't. But I'm going to use a little bit of it because in Mr. Socavito, he used the durain extract. I can't find the durain extract, so I am going to use the frozen kind. And then next, you will need crushed coconut. You will need three eggs, coconut cream. Evaporated milk, sweet condensed milk, salt, and lemon juice, and sugar palm. So the first thing you want to do is you want to peel and shred your pumpkin and your cassava roots, the lo mi, and you want to shred your ripe coconut. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'll see you in a bit. Next, I'm going to cut the coconut in half and shred the coconut. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to make the sauce that needs to be combined with the pumpkin and the roots. So this is how you want to open a coconut. You want to hold it, you know, tight. I can use a butcher knife, something, a butcher knife, and you want to hit it real hard. Be careful, don't um, hit your hand. So I haven't done this for a while, so <laughs> let's see if I can still do it. And if you're not very skillful, I recommend you don't do like I did. Maybe put it on a, a cutting board and then um, and do it that way. So here's the juice, the co coconut juice. We're not, um, we're not gonna use that. We just wanna get the, the coconut. So here you go. So then we're gonna shred this. You can use a, prude, a food processor or you can use um, a little grainer. I'll show you how it looks like. So here I have a grainer. You can get this at the Asian market. And all you do, this is how you sh uh, shred your coconut. All right, you do this way or this way, whatever you feel comfortable, you just, you know, just go like that. Just keep doing like that until all, all the coconut is out. First thing I'm going to put will be the evaporated milk. And then I'm going to put in my palm sugar. I put in my lemon juice. My salt, the whole can of the condensed milk, and 
one can of coconut milk. Okay, next you're going to stir it and you want to cook this until the palm sugar dissolve and then it comes to a boil. So when it comes to a boil and the, the, sugar, the sugar palm has melted, you're just going to leave it until it completely cool down. The palm sugar has melt and it's come to a boil so now I'm going to just turn it off and let the sauce cool down. I'm about to shred my cassava root with the long knee. So this is my food processor. I'm gonna use it. And if you do have it, use it because it saves time. And before you shred your cassava root, you want to remove the string right here. You want to remove that out because it's a little bit um, tough. So now I'm gonna shred it. going to shred a pumpkin now. If you have a shredder, I recommend you to use it because it saves a lot of time. Hi guys, we're back. So my pumpkin has been shredded. My cassava roots has been shredded. And also the coconut. This is the ripe coconut, the rain. It's been thawed and I kind of um, use my use spoon and just kind of smash it. And this is your three egg that was beaten um, earlier. And then this is the sauce that I cooked earlier. It's um, had cooled down. So now what you're going to do, you're going to mix all these ingredients into a very large bowl. So let's go my roots. Lo mi, kamai ha lo mi. In Cambodian tradition, dessert, we don't use pumpkin. And I use pumpkin because, you know, it's fall season. So I thought this would be a very great idea. So now, coconut. This is one coconut. Next, go in my drain again. The rain is optional if you don't like the rain because it has a very strong smell. You know, I like the rain. Then let's go your egg. Okay. And then next it's gonna go with your sauce. You use all the sauce because you want it to be sweet. Okay. So I'm gonna mix this and after that I'm gonna put it in a baking pan and bake it. So I'll see you in a bit. I forgot to tell you, before you mix it, make sure you turn on your oven to preheat and put it on bake for, um, for about 10 minutes and then you want to turn your temperature to 375 degrees. So do that first before you mix your, your um, pumpkin and the, root, the cassava root. So now I'm going to use a, span, a pan. I'm just going to spray on my half sheet, uh, um, baking sheet. So I'm just going to spray it a little bit so it won't stick to the pan. That's a lot. <laughs> and you know, I think this would be a great dish for, for Thanksgiving. Because Thanksgiving is coming up and if you want to, you know, you don't, know, you don't know what to make, you know, that is kind of Cambodian or American dish. So this would be a, a great dish for, you know, to share with your family. It smells very delicious. I can smell the durain and also the, the, the lo mi. Okay, now our uh, no bak bun is ready to be baked. Just follow me to the oven. You know, again, you want to preheat your oven to 375. And you want to cook this for 
for 45 minutes and then um, or until it turns golden brown and yeah, come on check on it so the long me or the long mapman it has been baked for 45 minutes now so next I am going to um, broil so the top part will be golden brown and crispy so the dalomi had been cooking for about seven minutes already. Um, I, you know, I turned it on top um, to broil it. So it's turning kind of golden brown now. So I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna let it sit in the oven for 30 more minutes. So the nomba ben has been in the oven for 30 minutes now. So I'm going to take it outside and leave it cool down um, it's over 30 minutes it's about almost 45 minutes the no button has cooled down so now i'm going to cut it into um, cube and then i'm going to let someone taste it and give me a rating on it i have mr edward here he's going to taste my no button and going to give me um, his opinion go ahead taste it Mm, good. Okay, what do you taste? It tastes like uh, the rain, coconut. And? The pulp. Yeah. Yeah. Do you taste the nom, uh, I mean, um, the long me? Oh, here, yeah, yeah, see it. The long me? Okay. Oh, that coconut, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay. One to ten. What number? Ten. Ten? Mm. Honest? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm gonna test the. My mom, uh, nom? Nom bak ban. Nom bak ban. Oh, okay. okay. This is my first time try it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So I can see a uh, coconut, uh -huh. uh, the long me, pumpkin. At Cambodian, they don't have the pumpkin, so it's very it's interesting. Different. Okay, go ahead. Chai Yeah. Uh... I like I'm, I'm yes. removing uh, soap. I'm a little bit. You need more sugar. Need more sugar? Yeah, a little uh, bit more. 